Well, hey guys, welcome back to the channel again. Lump charcoal. Two 55-gallon barrels, one open on both ends, the other open at the top, close at the bottom with some air holes. I've been watching several videos on YouTube about how to make charcoal. So I've got some free oak lumber straight off the sawmill uh, three years ago. It was my neighbor's. It has some termite damage. It's, it's pretty rough stuff, but he was going to throw it away, so it's free. And when it's free, it's good. So we're going to see if we can make some charcoal. Start the fire from the top. That's what I've learned. Cardboard, piece of paper, and now the tricky part. <laughs> That's getting the other barrel setting on top of this barrel without getting burned. And it's hot, so I'm going to kind of adjust it and it worked got some smoke from the cardboard so while we're waiting I'm gonna pick a few blackberries I do this every afternoon and I get a bowl about this size I think I'm on two gallons now so let's go back to the barrels oh yeah now the paints burning off and the paints really a good indicator of what's going on the fires in the bottom barrel not the top tops nothing more than just a secondary burn system like a chimney but as the paint burns off you can tell where it's getting hot it goes from the blue paint to black to white you can see here on the left hand side of this barrel it is hot and that's about as close as you want to get so I'm gonna take some dirt and I'm gonna cover up the holes on that side of the barrel and that will cause the air to draw on the other side. As you can see, it's happening pretty quick. And look how clean it burns, no smoke. That's because the second barrel setting on top. Now, as you can see here, the fire has dropped on down, but there's still a blue spot. But if you notice where it's blue, there's no glow in the holes, but where it's not, it's glowing orange, so I'm going to go ahead and cover up those holes, which should make it draw where the paint is still at. There we go. Now we got the glow. I've covered them all up. I'm going to push off the top can. It's been about two hours, and uh, we're going to see what we've got inside the can. Looks like a lot of ash, but really it's not. There's a lot of charcoal in there. An old fan base and a paint can for the center hole cover up all the other holes and hopefully tomorrow morning we will have lump charcoal and thanks for watching guys i'll do a follow-up just as soon as i can